Welcome to Statics. Vectors in three dimensions. At this stage in the course, we are going to transition from working with vectors in two-dimensional space to working in three-dimensional space. We use a rectangular or Cartesian XYZ coordinate system where each axis is orthogonal or perpendicular to the other axes. In engineering and in working with CAD systems, we conventionally define an XYZ coordinate system using the right-hand rule. A Cartesian coordinate system is said to be right-handed provided the thumb of the right hand points in the direction of the positive Z axis when the right hand fingers are curled about the axis and directed from a positive X to positive Y axis. This is easier to understand with a graphic example. But the basic idea with the right hand rule methods, one, uh, first you need to know that you're right from your left and take your right hand. If you have your thumb pointing in the positive X direction and your index finger pointing in the positive Y direction, then if you hold your middle finger at 90 degrees to those two, that points in the positive Z direction. So that's one example of right hand rule. Another way I like to think about it is if I take my hand and I point it in the positive x direction and then I bend it, my fingers, 90 degrees, that will be not, they will now be pointing in the positive y direction. My thumb is pointing in the positive z direction. So those are a couple of implementations of the right hand rule. Also, if I'm trying to determine rotation, later when we start talking about moments and torque, if I will take my thumb and point it in the positive direction of the vector representing that torque, my hand will curl in the positive rotational direction. And these conventions will become very important and useful as we begin to work problems. A right-hand coordinate system can be represented in various forms. If you consider these alternative forms, you realize that they are each the same coordinate system, just viewed from different perspectives. Here's a representation of a vector in 3D space. Unfortunately, the screen you're looking at is two-dimensional, so some mental interpretation of this image is required on your part. Being able to take a 2D representation and visualize it in three dimensions is a required skill for engineers. Some people have an innate talent for doing that. Others have to work to develop it. The dotted representation of a box is there to help. The tail of the vector is at the axis origin, which is one corner of the box. The location of the head of the vector is at the opposite corner of the box. The location of the vector head can be visualized by looking at the edges of the box. The head location is offset by the x dimension from the origin, over by the y dimension, and up by the z dimension. Like two-dimensional vectors, three-dimensional vectors can be defined by the vector magnitude and the vector direction. In 3D space, the direction is defined by at least two angles. The vector can also be represented using Cartesian notation as shown. Note that there are now three terms in the notation, x direction, y direction, and z direction, as denoted by the k circumflex, or caret. That is the little hat on top. Vector magnitude is found with the Pythagorean theorem. It is interesting to note that the Pythagorean theorem can be expanded into 3D space as shown. This equation will be very useful for finding vector magnitude when you know the vector's three components.